Hello, Eddie Gamer Social. My name's Mavenham here, and let's play Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Fallen Empire with my Sith Juggernaut. My brilliant Cabolo, who used to be known as Speedy Gonzalez, he has had a name change, and I thought it was rather fitting to do so for this new expansion. So, for those of you who have been following uh, for quite some time now, uh, Speedy Gonzalez was created for the 12 times experience speed run from level 1 to level 55 uh, and he then returned in the shadow of Revan uh, for levels to uh, up to fit level 60 and now the new expansion has come out but I thought considering it's gone back to normal it's no longer speed running we're doing everything um, you know it's uh, it's better to change his name to something more normal rather than Speedy Gonzaga so I've gone for that I've gone for Carbolo and you can see he's got some new gear as well he's got the new gear which is associated with the expansion pack um, which I think looks absolutely amazing. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, his face is on show as well, which is awesome. Uh, for those of you who don't know, who haven't followed the storyline, uh, my Sith Juggernaut is a light side character. He is nice and friendly, as you can see here. He is uh, pretty good. Uh, with the uh, clothing as well, it is on the outfit design, whereas the actual thing that gives me all the other stuff is, is here. It's quite a lot of gear that I got um, grinding away before this expansion came out. So it's quite a lot of operation gear there that I got so my character is quite strong which is quite awesome so there has been a few changes so we, we, we I thought I'd start by looking over that uh, first of all with the map you can see they've changed how certain things look you can see here purple stuff is your mission console uh, you have mission, story missions, mission offers, you have exploration missions now with a little star next to it, you have repeatable missions with arrows around and you have objectives and other sort of stuff as well which is pretty cool um, pretty pretty amazing I'm not going to show those missions. No, why not? I could do a scene in those. Uh, we also have anything new up here. Let's have a look at my old my old beastie. Have we got anything needed to go? We have got heroic moment. Not quite sure what that does. What does it do? It sees the moment restoring 2% of my maximum health every 3 seconds. Requires an active companion. Lasts for 60 seconds. No, 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 no. Not bad. So what else have we got? In my inventory, I have various random bits and pieces. I have quite a lot of these um, reputational things. I may as well sort of unlock these now. Um, I guess I'd, I just never really, you know, done it yet. But hey ho, we'll, we'll get those done just to, to boost up exp uh, reputation on various different places and stuff. Because why not? I have quite a lot of things I could do. Probably selling as well. Quite a lot of crap that I would no longer need. I would imagine. Nah. They've also made changes to gearing as well. It now has a mastery stat rather than um, strength or or things like that. You know, they've they've changed it um, to have different sort of stats ever so slightly. So we got to get used to the new system there. Um, so it might take me a little while getting used to that and getting used to the rotation and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, I think one thing we should do is probably get some experience on the go. I also want to do what do I 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 what do I, what do I, what do I that one there. They gonna get that beefing up. That's good. Um, yes, 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 yes. Companions and contracts. This has now changed. Um, I don't know much about it, but I know you have influence, which is now changing the way it's sort of done. So we got some work to do on on that. So yeah, you can summon random different people. I have an other follower apparently. So there, that's that's changed. We also have uh, the old-fashioned way of of crew skilling and stuff like that, which we may look into, but. You know, we we never really needed to. Uh, we also have the combat efficiencies. It's reset everything. We are obviously vengeance. So I'm not sure how much this I can actually redo. Um, I used to. I will go with what I had last time for now, as much as I can. That is. Um, so I had deadly reprisal. I also had stagger. I'm not sure what else to take there. Um, so you generate one more rage when stunned. Ravage immobilizes target. Force charge grants unstoppable granting immunity and other stuff. Path carver. Yeah, I could have path carver. Let's go with that one. And let's see what I had on here. This is probably gonna change as well. Uh, once I get to get to grips with things really. Strangulate I used to have. I also had crushing fist. Well, is there still crushing fist available? They, they change the name of things as well, which is really irritating, Crushing Fist, because then it, um, it gets difficult to know what, what we want. So through Power Rolls 1 and also through... Oh, I'm not going to do anything else. Fair enough. I'll go with that then for now. Don't ask me that again. There we go. Nice new set of abilities, which is pretty good for me. Um, I'm just going to unlock that. I don't know why that needs to live there. That can live up there, I suppose, for now. Why not? 
and lock that away. Um, I'm gonna have to get used to the, the sort of the interface as well. So shall we begin? Shall we begin with things? I think it's ready. Oh, there are a few other things that's changed. Uh, group finder has changed as well. So we have story mode ops, and I'm not a tank. Let's give it that straight away. Story mode, hard mode, and tactical flashpoints. So various different bits and pieces there that you can join for and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, but now I think uh, we could do a finding a mailbox, so couldn't we? So shall we head to the fleet to start with? Let's go to the main fleet, the Imperial fleet, and we'll check our mail. Uh, where is it? There we go. I can't even remember. Can't even remember where these things are. So we'll go to the Imperial fleet. We'll check our mail because we should have had some some good things. This is currently the uh, the uh, the early access, the the week earlier than the official release. Um, the, the time this is being recorded is uh, the actual day it came out. The servers have just been updated, um, and we can now play. Knights of the Fallen Empire, so that is absolutely fantastic, getting our way up to level 65. I'm looking forward to it, got me, got me experience boost on the go. But they make quite a lot of awesome changes with this as well, especially with um, missions where you're, you're too high level. Um, they they do it with sort of bolstering system where they lower your, your level down to the level needed for the mission. But your, the experience you gain is scaled to your current level. Uh, so for example, if you're level 60 and you go do a level 30 mission, um, your your power and stuff will be level 30, but the experience you you get will be the equivalent to level 60, which I think is amazing. So it means whatever mission you do, regardless of your level, you will get the correct amount of rewards, which means no mission will will, will ever be meaningless, which I think is is great. That's that's a really really good idea. So that means you don't have to uh, ever come across a mission thinking, well, there's no rewards for it, so it's pointless. That will never be the case anymore. Right then, let's find a mailbox, shall we? And uh, let's see what rewards we have got. We've got six pieces of mail. My god, the lag on here is crazy. It's probably a very, very busy server. Where is the mail? It's hiding here. Everyone's trying to get their rewards. So, I have a swoop. Thank you. I'll take that. Uh, early access. I'm getting major experience boost. Thank you very much. I also have a companion. Okay. But apparently you, you can get him during a mission, so that's kind of just to know. We also have a duster. It's terrific. We have his blasters. Somebody might be able to use those, maybe. And we also got a flag. Yay. So what have we got? What have we got? We got that thing which we can use. Thank you very much. Decoration enthusiast, apparently. How about that? Reach 10,000 prestige. Well, that's amazing. That's pretty incredible if you ask me. I could use a thing to get what's his chops, but I'm not going to at the moment. I'd rather try and get him. Uh, oh, hello. Cool. Oh, yeah, they changed currency as well. They changed it to crystals rather than commendations. And they may have increased the limit as well for some of the stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. So maybe things need to buy that at some point if I keep correct, um, you know. Uh, collecting stuff. Let's go. Let's go back down to the one we need. So that's what we've done. So I think it's time to, uh, you know, to crack on with the story. Let's begin it, shall we? Sephoria hangar. Let's go, 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 go. Let's do what we got to do, guys. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be incredible. I've been so excited to play this, waiting for the the update to download, install, and the server to become back available again. This is what we've been working towards, and this is going to be incredible. This really is. Let's get back on our ship. And do what we gotta do. Let's do what we gotta do. Come on, then. Away we go. Yes, everyone's online. These servers are mentally busy, I'm sure of it. Um, um, yeah, this is gonna be fun, though. This is gonna be real good fun. Whew, okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start Knights of the Fallen Empire. Hello there. Chapter 1. The Hunt. Spoiler warning, the quest chain takes place after the events of Shadow of Revan and Rise of the Emperor. The Imperial Sith Emperor has disappeared after devastating the planet Zeost. Meanwhile, twin conquerors have carved a path of destruction across the Republic and the Sith Empire both. Determined to hunt these enemies down, Darth Maul has enlisted help from both factions, including a stalwart ally from the battle against Revan. And this we will get common data crystals, which is cool, and we'd also get a brand new lightsaber. A brand new lightsaber, which apparently sucks completely. It's not better than what we have in any way. Um, which one do we need again? We need... What's the difference between the two? Uh, we don't need the one with the absorption of the defense. We need that one there. 
the pummelers. Yeah, we are. We are pummeler. Pummeler, 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 pummeler. So yeah, we're not gonna get that. Well, we are. Well, we 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 will, but we're not gonna use it because crap. But let's accept the mission, shall we? Click to play the chapter. Oh my god, hello. And warning, you're about to progress beyond the critical story point and begin Knights of the Fallen Empire. Any class content or companion stories you have not completed will become unavailable to you. It also means your crew of available companions will dramatically change. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Are you sure? Yes, we definitely are. Here we go, Knights of the Fallen Empire. Look at his sexy face with the mask on. We have his clothing, but in dark form. It is time. It is a time of chaos. A mysterious army led by twin conquerors has carved a path of destruction across the worlds of the warring Galactic Republic and Sith Empire then disappeared into uncharted space. Next. Meanwhile, an older threat still looms. A former Sith Emperor, revitalized after an annihilating all life on the planet Zeos, has seemingly vanished without a trace. Determined to hunt down these dangerous foes at any cost, Imperial leader Darth Maul gathers allies from both factions to join his incursion into the far reaches of wild space. Oh, you may not bring a follower along on this mission. Okay. A man can have anything if he is willing to sacrifice. With your birth comes a solemn vow. You will have nothing. Your privilege is the dirt. Suffer. 
with me, son. Well, there we go. That is the intro cinematic to the new story, Knights of the Fallen Empire. So here we go. I think it's it's time for us to have a bit of fun. Oh, here we go. You can form a guild. I thought we were already in a guild. I thought so. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars! There is no music because it turned off. But, Knights of the Fallen Empire. Unless I put music in afterwards. Maybe I do that. Who knows? You might hear music then. It is a time of chaos. A mysterious army led by twin conquerors has carved a path of destruction across the world to the warring Galactic Republic and Sith Empire. Then disappeared into uncharted space. I feel like we've already read this. Meanwhile, an older threat still looms, the former Sith Emperor, revitalised after annihilating all life on the planet Zeost, has similarly vanished without a trace. Very, very strange. Determined to hunt down these dangerous foes at any cost, Imperial leader Darth Maul gathers allies from both factions to join his incursion into the far reaches of wild space. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh, here we go then. Here we go. I'm ready for it. They do quite a lot of intro stuff on this, don't they? I've read all that already. It told us that thing already before we even started it. So, you know, you'd think... you think the they wouldn't do it twice, you know? But hey-ho, we've read it now. So let's see what is going to be next for us to experience. Be back shortly. Have Mars crew service the Fury in the meantime. Your name usually gets us pretty fast service. Shouldn't be a problem. I won't let any of those Republic tagalongs sniff around either. Can't be too careful. Lord Roth. Captain. Darth Maul awaits you on the bridge. I trust you remember the way. Hmm. Has Ma really found the Sith Emperor all the way out here? I wouldn't presume to speak for Lord Ma, but I've never known him to exaggerate. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for that. As we have time for in this very first episode, we will see you in this as we continue on. That's watching, guys, and I will see you then. Oh, well, well I, okay, I won't jump into you then. Apparently. Come on. He's going down in seconds, though. There you go. He's gone. Ah, amazing. I'm too good. What am I doing now? I'm going back this way. 